The story in your head is written on cellophane, clear plastic. The story is scribbled with a shaky hand. The transparent pages pile up. Page 234 blends with page 16, and all the words are jumbled. You are jumbled. It is a violent rendering. It is a deceitful act. It is a betrayal. It is passion. It is someone's twisted will that takes the pages and turns them this way and that way so that a P looks like a D or a Q looks like a B. All the words become farm words and sometimes they become gibberish. It is your relentless task to keep the story straight, to keep reading the story, to keep mouthing the story, because at some point the story became you. You became the jumble, and the story happened because it happened to you. No one was watching. That's how the story got to be such a mess. People who were supposed to protect you and your story went missing. Sometimes you would be reading a line that made sense until it got to a point where it stopped making sense, but who could tell? Who could grab your hand and stop you if you were left alone? You had to make it make sense, but it didn't, so you kept it inside of you. You jammed the slippery pages into your head, and soon your head was filled with a story that was out of order. The words would sometimes come out of your mouth, and they wouldn't make sense. And you had to make decisions based on the plot of the story. But the plot of the story was without a doubt a mess. Oh, my love, you told me your story. You told it as clearly as you could. And luckily, I was there to fill in the gaps. Because I am a writer. I am a reader and I'm used to stories that don't make sense. Together we were able to sort it out. But I can't erase the words that go in and the words that go out without making sense. So what can we do? Well, I know what you have done. You have reached inside of me. You have borrowed my story, borrowed my eyes. You have given me the one thing that is the only thing that you know how to give. You've scooped out your middle and you've handed it to me because it doesn't matter. The story doesn't matter when it comes to your heart. Your heart doesn't care about a story. It just wants to beat and it wants to find a partner. And so it does. It finds a partner, and you will tell the story with the heartbeats because sometimes the story can become a song, and they don't have to have lyrics. You can just bang on the drum, and the story gets told, and that's what I'm listening for. I'm listening for your drum. Even when you may wander, I'm listening. It may take you far away, maybe because you can't feel you are disappearing from me, but I can hear the drum. You have made it something for me to hear, and that's when I'll find you. And if I find you mumbling a story that doesn't make sense... I'll turn that story into a song, and we'll sing it together. And for some reason, it doesn't always matter that the song doesn't make sense. It's the melody. It's the rhythm. It's the beat. It's the two of us singing together. That's what will make sense. That's love. That's the love that makes the story come together.